So we do have 30 amps to this garage, do we? We do have 30 amps to the sub panel. That should be enough for your needs, as long as you don't run all the tools at once. That shouldn't be a problem. We also locked out here, somebody actually built this in, an access panel to the sub panel, which is great. We can run the wire in the cavity of the wall here. Uh, what type of wire should we use? We're going to use MC12-2. And I'm going to drill up through the top plate here. And we're allowed to feed the wire across the joists like this? We are, because we're using MC wires, Steve. Can you push it down there for me? Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to install the box. This is called an old work box. We use this box when we have an existing wall to put a receptacle in. What we have is we have these tabs here that will mount to the wall and secure the box to the wall. All right? We know that we're in a garage. Code tells us that we need to be 30 inches above the finished floor for this. We're so close to these switches, we might just match the height. I think it'll look nice. I think so. We got 48 to the top. We come over here where you want it. We know we're between the framing structure there. Let's mark our 48 inches. You're going to turn, take that old work box, put it to the wall, and we're going to use the old work box as the template for the hole. We're going to take our drill, and we're going to drill out the corners of this box. Now I'm going to use my rotary saw to cut out the rest here. All right, Steve, what we've done now was we pulled this MC cable down the cavity of the wall here. Mm -hmm. I've in turn attached that MC cable to this box with this clamp, tighten it down. Then I inst installed the green grounding conductor to the box here with this green ground screw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the side plate back on, and then we'll be ready to put it back in the cavity of the wall and attach it to the paneling. Okay. All right, now we've finished attaching the box to the paneling. I'm going to take this 20 amp, 220 volt receptacle that matches the cord on your bandsaw. I'm going to in turn take the green grounding conductor, attach it to the green screw. I'm going to take the black hot wire, attach it to this brass screw. Okay. Then I'm going to take the white hot wire and attach it to the other brass screw. Wait, white is hot? Isn't it usually neutral? In a 110 application, it's usually the neutral, but here, because it's straight 220, the equipment that you purchase does not need a neutral conductor, so we're going to identify this wire and use it as a hot wire. So what I'll do is I'll strip these wires to the length I need. And you just slide those right in like that? Yeah, this actually receptacle comes with a compression connection here. You see I slide it in and then I crank it down with the screw here. It's a good connection. It's nice and tight. Typical for a 20 amp application, you see. All right, I have everything tightened down and ready to go. I'm going to fold the wires into the box, take a couple 632 screws, attach the receptacle to the box. All right, Steve, what we're going to do now is we're going to punch out this knockout seal on the top of the sub panel. I, in turn, am going to take this MC connector here, attach it in the hole and then use this lock nut to secure it to the panel. And now I'm ready to take the MC cable, put it into the connector, and then we can run the wire to the sub panel. So what's that uh, plastic clip there? This is an anti-short bushing. What this does is we slide this up into the jacket here, so that way that the sharp edges do not fray the insulation on the conductors, which would be really bad. Then okay. I'm going to stick these conductors into the panel. Tighten down the connector so we get a good mechanical connection. And now I'm ready to make the wires up to the breaker and the grounding bar. Now I'm going to take a two-pole, 20 amp, 220 volt breaker, snap it in, and now I can start to install the conductors onto the screw shells. All right, Steve, well, I'm throwing this last screw in. Why don't you go over the house, turn that two-pole 30-amp breaker back on so we have power, and I will, uh, I will put some staples up and secure the wire nice and neat. Okay, power's on. All right, we're all set. Let me plug it in. You give it a test. Just remember, be careful. Okay. There's no more important safety tip than these safety glasses. Oh, no, I'll eat your heart out.